Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and today I'm back again for another R Factor 2 video. So, today I'm actually going to be doing a Formula E video once again. Um, so, obviously, as some of you may or may not know, Formula E 2021 cards have been added to R Factor 2, uh, same as some of the tracks, uh, the 2021 tracks. So, yeah, since um, they were racing at New York this weekend, in their little virtual series that they're doing, I thought I would try this out and give it a go. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll go right. I'm not too sure, I haven't done this in quite a while in Formula E cards. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it and see how it goes then. So, um, no clue how it's going to go personally. Haven't done this track yet, obviously. Well, I have, but it was a different version of the track. Sort of just getting used to uh, the assignments I've done for the the wheel as obviously I haven't played this game in a long time so I kind of forgot all the button mapping I've done sort of remember a little bit okay that's how you change all the thing in the bottom right I'll keep that up because I think that's going to be the best and the most useful I've set a camera I've been in the pits for quite a while this is practice right now so don't panic um, I'm probably going to be pretty slow as you can see I'm not very good but, trust me, they handle a lot more differently to a Formula 1 car. So I'm trying to get on the floor where I can, but it's very difficult to do so. You can probably lift off through there, yeah, nicely. Well, that's the first whole lap then. That keeps me in P22 at the moment, which is an ideal. Try and go for another one, hopefully quicker. I'm keeping up with the pack. It's good. Okay, come on, 2 one, three up. What's it going to put me? P1, let's go. What a lap. Damn. 4,000 quicker than P2. Oh my days. What a lap that was. So yeah, let's just have a look at this lap then. Um, a replay from trackside camera this time. So we come across the line now to start the hot lap, our quickest one. Run down towards turn one. I tried to break as late as possible. I really took this one very aggressively. And found really good breaking points actually I found on this lap. Um, really like the look of the Jaguar, by the way, um, the 2021 Jaguar. So coming through here, out of here then, a very difficult section. Obviously that's where um, the attack mode section is, but obviously don't use that in practice or qualifying. Uh, down towards here, taking it very aggressive. This is a corner I really struggled with a lot last year, and I seem to take it very nicely here. A uh, very difficult corner there. I lost a bit of time on the acceleration, but it's very tight. Uh, but let's be honest, what track informally isn't tight on the Canada? Down towards here, taking it very aggressively once again. I think my final sector was my favourite sector because it just came together very nicely. And you can tell straight away I'm catching the cars up ahead. Uh, luckily, they're a bit of a distance, so I didn't get blocked up or get any dirt here. Well, not too much, so it wasn't too bad. And now this is coming up to the sector that I kind of liked, actually. Um, just avoiding the barrier there on the outside, taking as much of the track as I can. Run it down towards the section that I like here, then the chicane. Down towards the final corner now then, to finish my hot lap that, well, push me up to P1 there. Uh, very nicely, and yeah, just a nice replay to watch back from trackside. Let's try and have a good start here then. In New York for formerly 2021 race and it is lights out and away we go here very nice start immediately going for the outside 
Seems like everyone has gone for the inside, so why not attempt the outside, see how it goes. And apparently I'm super late on the brakes, it's worked. Going around the outside of Van Dorn here. I'm going to try and battle back, he is, he is going to try and battle back. I don't know if I can get on the floor quickly. Still down the inside, he's still on my outside. I've managed to make it past him, damn! But the outside is OP there. They are yeah, the exact same level as what I had them in the practice just a minute ago, by the way. So, I don't know how I've managed to just pull that off, to say the least. Oh my god, what a start though. And that's only like the first few corners. We've got a 20 minute race to still go. So, we've still got a long time yet. Oh, I'm going to go for the inside here, why not? Let's go for it. Down the hairpin. He backed out. I really ran that inside curb massively there to try and get this position. It seemed to have worked because I'm up to P13 now. So I'll take it. Insane. I wanted to try and just get in the points. And at this rate, we're on target to easily get that. Try and slip through Muller. It's a very difficult track, but I'm really loving the track that they made on this game. Like, honestly, it's absolutely insane. Oh, we got someone sending it. Oh, he's crashed. He crashed into the barrier in the hairpin. Oh, what has he done? That's promoted me out to P12. Again, I'll take that any day. I'll take people taking themselves out of the race. I usually nail the final corner compared to the AI. I've got a very nice exit there. Well, he's gone for the inside, so I'm going to go for the outside then. Should we send? Yeah, let's send it. Screw it. The AI is breaking so early. Oh my god, what have they done? Have I just gone for a double move? I've just gone for a double move. I'm up to P10. I'm in target for points right now in this race. And it's only lap two. This is absolutely mental. How did I manage to survive all that? I don't think anyone's going to be trying moves here. Because this is just like, look at it. There's no chance you're going to fit two cars through there. This race is turning into an insane race though. Honestly. Really enjoying it. Banning my way up the grid. They are giving me a run for my money though. It's getting harder the further I get up the grid though, not gonna lie. If I can get a good exit out of here, maybe I can try to turn one. I got a very nice exit, slipstream, tuck it to the inside, down the inside of Sebastian Bawemi, into turn one. Made the move stick very nicely there. Next is Oliver Rowland. Oliver Rowland's got a very bad exit out there. We're going to actually send it down inside here. And that's us up to P7. Or P8, I should say. P7 is Lucas Degrassi, so he's next. If I was a bit closer, I would have probably gone for it, but I wasn't quite close enough, so I didn't want to risk it all and destroy my race and his race. This hairpin's super difficult. The AI are taking it way too tight, I'm finding, so that's probably why they, a couple of them have gone into the barrier there. So you just need to watch out with that. Well, I got a very good exit out of there compared to him. Gonna try down the inside again. Got some nice slipstream. Down the inside of Lucas Degrassi. We've gone very wide though. He's gonna get that back with ease, I think. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't go into the barrier there and didn't ship a position to Oliver Rowland. So, I'll take that. Try and get slipstream again. 
down here. I always break a bit earlier for this corner because it always scares me about going straight on into that corner. So Lucas Degrassi really giving me a fight right now. So I've really run that curb again. I've got to stop doing that because you've got to just hit the little bumps just before the curb, not the actual fully white curb that's behind them because also it just completely destroys your suspension. I mean, these Formula E cars are usually quite sturdy, but they still do not meant to hit them and they still can be damaged. We're very close to Lucas Degrassi now. We might be able to have a go down inside of him here. And then Cassidy's just down the road from him there as well. We're going for the outside. On Lucas Degrassi. I don't think I'll send it on Cassidy as well because Cassidy will just. Yep, yeah, there you go. Turns in, so. It's fair enough, but we're up to P7 nevertheless. Cassidy's looking pretty slow out of here. I might actually try and move on to him in here. I'm not too sure. I think I might be a bit far back now. Yeah, a bit too far back. Lucas Degrassi's trying a dangerous move there. Left him just enough space so he can still fit through. And he survives. Oh, it's Oliver Rowland. So Luke Grassi's actually shifted position to Oliver Rowland now as well. Looking to try and get P6, but he's given me a massive battle for it. That's for definite. Try again. Uh, again, I can't get good exits out of there anymore. Super difficult. Ah, uh, broken a bit late again. Meanwhile, Oliver Rowland's trying to get past me. There's just a, a train of cars here. I literally, I still can't get around him. I've been stuck behind him for so long now. <laughs> There's just no way around him. He's defending so well. There's just no way around him. He's defending so well. He's getting all the breaking points right as well. Oh, Oliver Rowland's just put himself in the barrier there. It's not great for him. I think he tried to move on me and it did not work. Literally, I can't find a way around Cassidy. Try my best, but I just have no way of getting around him. Broken super late there. Try and go for it. He might come back at it though. Yeah, he's gonna come back for it. I literally I can't get around it. Oh, he lets me through. Okay. Oh, up to P6 then. Let's see if I can try and catch down the others. Probably going to be pretty difficult. I'll try and go for a few quick laps as well whilst I'm at it, because why not? I've had a few laps of just pushing as hard as possible and I've managed to actually catch down the top five which is absolutely mental but Luke's grass is ain't too far behind so he managed to stick with me. Oh look at that, what an exit. Didn't leave much space but I'm going for the outside, committed to it. Oh he's battled back though, down the inside. Up to P5. Try and get a good exit here. I don't know how long we have left in the race. But I could probably imagine not too.
too much longer. So I try and get Camaro now if I can. Maybe here down inside. Send it. I'm gonna try it back around the outside. It looks like I might have this covered. Yeah, very nicely. Now I'm up to P4. I could actually try and have a go for a podium here. Come on. Can we try and get him? Try down the inside. Got massively wide once again. That seems to be the way to do it. And we're up to P3. Can we actually try and go for a last of first? Come on, let's go maximum push now. Try and go for everything. Try and get these guys before the end. I don't, like I said, I don't know how long's left or what, but I'm going to go for it. That's all I know. Got a pretty good exit there. Why do I feel like he's going to send it? That's why I backed off, because I just feel like he's going to send it. Because I don't really want to have that problem. Maybe down into the hairpin? Screw it, let's go for it. Why not? Ran the curb, but made it up to P2. Managed to get Oliver Turvey. Now there's just one more car between me and at last a first win. Come on. Ah, oh, that's it. P2. P2, I'll take that. I will take that any day. What a race. And it's probably disqualified me because of the fact that I didn't pit and I probably got one mandatory stop on, but really we all know it's P2. Whew, what a race. I'll take that. I'll take that. That was a really good one, actually. I enjoyed that one. So there we go then. That is my first 2021 Formula E race. Um, it was really good, actually. Really enjoyed that one. Um, the fact the session as well. Uh, really tested my limits on how to drive these Formula E cars once again. And it's a bit of a different handling. I find these cars have more traction. Uh, that might just be me or my imagination. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it felt really good, actually, to be back on Formula E cars again and um, yeah I'm gonna leave this video here though if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like and subscribe but thank you for watching and goodbye